Oh, look at Brad. See those eyes? They are, it might be hard to see, but she is going into her pre-lay shed. Nope, not feeding you right now. Look at how thick she is, especially in this lower third of her body. Those are all eggs. How many are you gonna give us this year, Brad? How many? We'll find out. How are you doing with your prelay shed? Let's check in on you. Oh, you're so fat. So fat. Oh, well, you're not in blue anymore, so she should be shedding any day. And then, oh my goodness, how many will she have? You guys need to comment your guess of how many eggs are going to come out. It's been about 12 hours since I last checked in on her, so I'm assuming she's done. But Can I take a look? We could. Should we just, yeah. Sneak a sneak peek to see if she's oh, sneaky, got all the eggs peek. out. A sneaky sneak peek. Alright, let's see. Is she deflated? You done, Brad? Oh, oh, wow. Look at all those eggs. Yeah, she looks Where's done. Your tail? Yeah. I'd say so. I'd say she looks good. Hey. Right. Hey, right, cool. <laughs> Perfect. Well, before we take those out, we want to show you the dad, the proud dad. Once again, it is Peanut. He is down here. Peanut is the biggest bull snake I have ever seen to date. This guy is huge. He, uh, we were told that he is a red phase um, bull snake, but um, he just has kind of faded colors because he's really old. He's in his upper teens, I believe. So his colors kind of have that faded look that some of the older bull snakes get when they when they get up there in age. So we were very excited that he was still able to breed this year, but he is kind of flighty, so I'm going to put him back. And now let's check out Brad and her eggs. We're just going to bring this whole thing upstairs. Before we peek, I'm going to put a rat in the sink for her to start thawing it because I'm sure she's ravenous because she's Brad and she actually didn't eat last week because she was going to lay eggs, so I bet she's extra hungry today. Brad usually gives us the biggest clutch of the year. Last year, in 2019, she laid 25 good eggs and, if I remember correctly, not a single slug, which is just crazy. So, do you have any guesses? How many she, eggs she laid this year? I'm gonna well, guess. Go for it. 22. Okay, I already looked earlier. I didn't count. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I noticed there were slugs. There are slugs. There are slugs. I guess I kind of saw out of the corner yeah. of my eye when we peeked. Just there. when you peek, you see slugs. Yeah, I did see some slugs. So I'm gonna say she had 18 I... good eggs and five slugs. Five slugs. So okay. 23 altogether. Okay, 18 good, 5 slugs. Guys, write down your guesses in the comments below if you want to partake in the guessing game. And now, let's find out how many she had. Alright, Bradley. Hi, pretty girl. Wow, look at that clutch. Those are tiny eggs. Yeah, they're really small this year Weird. for some reason. They are very little. Yeah, and there's quite a few slugs. She's never laid this many slugs before. Yeah. Interesting. Well, One, two, three, four, five, possibly six. Six slugs? slugs. One, two, three, four, five. That one? Maybe yeah, six? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll still incubate that one. Yeah, but. this one doesn't look too bad. We're going to take a closer look when we uh, take these out here in a second, but I wonder why her eggs are so small and why she has so many slugs this year. It could be because Peanut's old. With I don't the, know if the eggs would... I, I bet that's, that affects the slugs. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Maybe she has more slugs, slugs. cuz Peanut's old. Maybe she's getting older. Yeah. I can see that being like she's older so maybe the eggs are smaller. Maybe. maybe. But yeah, I, I guarantee you it's Peanut's also not as fertile as he used to be in his prime. Mhm. Mm well, the important thing is she got them all out. Yeah, she looks good. Yeah, she does. Always... It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to put you in another container. We'll feed you in a second. Your rat's still thawing. In a recent video, we were talking about how after a snake lays eggs, they look pretty deflated. And Brad here is no exception to that rule. She has, she's got the, um, the lines down her sides, kind of extra flappy skin it looks like. And that's just from her laying those eggs. She has skin that was previously stretched out that is no longer being stretched. So at this point, we are going to be feeding her right away tonight and then twice a week for the next month. And then she should be back to a normal weight again. We'll feed you in a second. I'll come back to you. Let's do the official count, guys. Let's see how many she laid. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 
14, 16, 18, 20 for sure good eggs, one iffy one, and five slugs. So she wow. had 26 eggs total. That's that, a new record for her. That is a new record. Now, granted, five of those are slugs. Yeah. Six, maybe. There's one questionable one. But let's take a closer look at that questionable egg, actually. Now, this is an interesting egg because it looks pretty sluggy over on this side, but the rest of it looks perfect, honestly. So we are going to incubate it just in case. If I were to bet, I think this egg is still going to hatch. I don't think it looks sluggy enough for it not to. So, I mean... The general rule of thumb is, or the motto, I guess, is incubate until there's no debate. So we're going to incubate it, just make sure it's separated from the others in case it does need to be removed. For Brad's clutch, we're going to use a lay box that was given to us by a fan and a friend of ours. Thank you so much for this lay box. All right, all of the perlite is mixed and put in place. Now I'm just going to make a divot and we're gonna put all the eggs in. All right, everyone, here's a test. Which ones are the slugs? <laughs> here's a great example of the differences between infertile eggs, which we call slugs, and fertile eggs. Fertile eggs are round, they're pearly white, they look fully inflated, whereas the slugs are yellow, they have pointed ends, and they look like half-inflated little water balloons. Ew, those are not gonna hatch. So what we do with slugs is we just feed them to our alligator or our friend's blue tongue skink. If you're breeding snakes and you end up with slugs, find someone who has a big lizard, probably not a crocodilian. I don't know if you'll find someone with one of those, no, but not. find someone with a big lizard and these are a great treat for them. Well, we've reached the last group of eggs here and these are very, very stuck together. So they must've been the first one she laid and therefore the gluey substance here has solidified the most. And since we don't wanna risk breaking anything by peeling them apart, we're just gonna incubate the whole clump together. Yeah, I think since Brad has such big clutches, it takes a while for her to get them completely out. Yeah, probably. So the first ones get to you know, solidify and the later ones don't. Yeah. Uh, well, never mind. That clump is too tall. We can't. Oh. They're not gonna fit in this bin, so we're gonna need a deeper lay box for this clump of five eggs. Um, How about this one? That'll work. All right, well this has been one of the most complicated clutches we've had in a long time. We have so many different variables here with Brad's clutch. We have some that are stuck together, one egg that looks iffy. Yeah, so what are you doing with that? This is gonna go in here with the rest of the eggs, but we're going to use it for the iffy looking egg to keep it separated for the, from the others. One, just to keep it separated and also for me to keep a closer eye on it so I can just observe it during the incubation process. So it's gonna go right in here and I'm really curious to see if that egg hatches. It's like half sluggy, so I really hope it does. I think it will, I have, I have high hopes for it, but we're still not positive, so we're gonna separate it. That one has goggles. Oh my gosh, we can make each one an emoji. fun we have emoji eggs now now by the way before anyone freaks out no the sharpie on the egg will not harm the baby inside we actually did this for our hognose snakes last year and they all hatched just fine so don't freak out guys it's okay this actually indicates what side of the egg faces up so if something were to happen and they got jostled for whatever reason who knows accidents happen uh, we would know which way to reposition the eggs so that they don't rotate during incubation all right change of plans the lid here was having a tough time closing with this inside, so we just moved it to the other bin because it's deeper. And now we have all of our eggs in place. We have the 14 separated good eggs over here, and we have the six eggs in a clump that we just didn't want to risk peeling apart because they were pretty snug together right here. And finally, our iffy egg over here. So we are going to set all of these eggs up in incubation, and we'll see them in 55 days. But this video isn't done yet. We are going to feed Brad next, and then we are going to look at the second clutch of bull snakes that we have for you today. 
Okay, Brad, here you go, girl. We're gonna set her back in her bin. We're gonna give her a really small meal. Um, it's something we like to do right after they lay eggs, just to get things moving again. Here, Brad. Will you eat for us now? Oh, she's not ready quite yet. No. no. I'll just leave it in here for her. I'm sure she'll grab it. I mean, she's Brad. So she's, she's gonna eat it, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not too worried. Next, we're going to uh, jump in the future to show you our ghost bull snake eggs because they have not been laid quite yet. But now she has, here is our ghost bull. She made me wait forever for these eggs, but she was laying this morning. So I'm assuming it's about 9 p.m. I'm assuming she's done. Oh, look at that beautiful uh. clutch. A lot more than she gave us last year. Yeah, really. Did she get all the eggs out? I think so. You down up here too, girl? Yeah, she feels empty. Cool. All right. Yeah. Oh. Should we grab her and bring her upstairs? I can't wait to check these out. Okay, we have her upstairs, so let's check out this clutch. I have not counted the eggs yet or looked at them other than that peak. So we have... Wow. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing clutch. This is so much better. Last year, she gave us a bunch of duds and two that made it and the rest just all went bad. So this is quite the improvement. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16? 16 eggs and they're all good. Are there any slugs under here? Nope, not a single slug down there. Holy cow. Wow, they're all stuck, look at this. It all comes off yeah. in one piece. One big piece. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Good job, Mama. You did a good job. And we are not going to take you out because you look pretty comfortable in there and you don't seem to mind. So Mama here and Dad are the same morph. They are false ghost bull snakes, which means they are hypo or Trumbauer hypo and white side. So if you had a true ghost, that would be hypo exanthic. Um, but since this is white side, it's a false ghost. Bull snake genes are kind of confusing, but she's a gorgeous snake regardless. But since she and the father are both the same morph and both hypo and white side are Excessive treats, all of the babies in these eggs should be ghosts too. So you can just set them on top. Yeah, that'll work. There. Now we won't bother mom anymore. She can just chill in there. Yep. Oh, these look amazing. All right, well, I'm going to mix up our perlite with some water, get it all settled in place, and put all the eggs in. All four of these are <laughs> glued together all along that edge and this edge and that edge and the little right here. You know what, since they're laying flat, we're just going to keep them flat and keep them attached so that these don't risk breaking apart or um, ripping anything if we were to take them apart. So we're gonna put them all together right here. Wouldn't sure. it be cool if we got a double-headed snake this year? Or twins? twins? Twins would be cool. Twins are more common than a double-head. Yeah. Although double-heads, I mean, There's that would be cool. There's quite a few double-heads out there. Yeah. They don't live very long though, usually. Well, I mean, if you can, if you know how to take care of them, they can sometimes live. Yeah, that's Just true. getting them both to eat at the same time so they don't fight. Question, if we were to hatch a double-headed snake, they sell for like five to $10,000. We'd have to keep it. You think we'd keep it? Yeah. But they also don't live very long, usually. Yeah, but. Yeah, we'd probably keep it. There we go. Look at them. Beautiful. Beautiful eggs. Oh my gosh. Had to get creative with all the positioning. Yeah. Okay, so what should the theme of these eggs be? Oh, sorry, I totally just moved them out of your shot. Well, since we did emojis for Brad's eggs, I think we should do like symbols for her eggs. What do you think? Sure. Like lightning bolt and heart and stuff sure. like that? Okay, so we'll do, oh man. So like, do a heart. So much more interesting than like an X. Is that one gonna be Harry Potter? Yep, this is the Harry Potter snake. Pyramid? The poop emoji. Oh. It does look like a pyramid though. Hearts up yeah. there, heart, club, spade, diamond. Do a star, do a square. 
Are you just gonna list off shapes now? Pretty much. <laughs> Those are symbols. They are, that's true. How about an alien head? The infinity sign. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, with infinity sign, will that egg live forever or incubate forever? Incubate forever. Probably. You did a copyright symbol. <laughs> there, that's a copywritten egg. Yeah. You could do the radioactive symbol. Ooh, I like that. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we have our symbol clutch. <laughs> Which one's with, your favorite? With one emoji. With the, uh, the poop. Well, yeah, poop is an emoji. All right. One emoji snuck in. There. Now, he, now he's a poop emoji. I like the copyright symbol one. You do? Nice. Yeah. That one's your favorite? Yeah. I think my favorite is the alien head. I'm quite proud of how that one turned out. Or the treble clef. That was a cool idea too. Awesome. Well, I mean, it'll be kind of a boring clutch because they'll all be ghost. Yeah. Or they should be. Sometimes bull snakes throw us for a loop and surprises happen. So they should be ghosts, but even the ghosts will vary in color. Some are more pink, some are more gray. So it'll still be an exciting clutch to watch hatch. Oh, we should have people comment a symbol of what their favorite is. There you go. Okay, yeah. okay, so pick your favorite egg in the ghost clutch, comment with the symbol of it, and we'll know exactly what you mean. People who don't watch the video, though, and just look at comments will be so confused. What kind of losers <laughs> just read the comments of a video? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> so, last thing I'm going to do, now that they're all marked, is write down the date that they were laid, which, check this out, was on my birthday. Yeah. Ghost. Ghost babies. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ghost squared. Get it? Because there was two ghosts that made yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It's my birthday today and it's been a fun day. So we're going to put these eggs in incubation. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And thank you to our Patreon backers. I know you guys were waiting for this clutch because I posted pictures like, why isn't she laying yet? We're so excited. And yeah, now she finally had her eggs and she had a good clutch too. So it was worth the wait, right? Mm -hmm. I think it was, yeah, definitely worth the wait. Thank you everybody for watching this video and we'll see you next time.